Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's Sunday, Easter Sunday. For those who follow Easter, happy Easter, everyone. Um, not all my friends do, but yeah, happy Easter to those that do. So today's video is a bit of an update on my week that was. I have um, some progression on my cows and an acquisition, small acquisition I made. So, shall we get started? Okay, I, my first cow I have finally caught up on is the Tunisian cow with Jada in stitches, although I haven't sewn my ends in yet. Um, April is the honeycomb stitch, which I really like. Um, can you see the pattern there? I actually really enjoyed this and it got me thinking about whether or not I could do a Tunisian tea cozy using this stitch. Watch this space, you don't know, it may happen. But yeah, that was Jada in Stitches Calendar Cow with a um, Tunisian calendar cow, a different square, a different stitch each month. I'm really enjoying that because I'm learning to use my um, Tunisian equipment and learning different stitches and it's already got me thinking and inspiring me to do other projects. So, of course, I love Nan's Necks and Ots, uh, Luck of the Draw. And uh, this is Luck of the Draw 5. It's my third, or I think it might be my third, maybe my fourth one I've done. And the last few weeks, we've had the sand colour come out and purple. It's actually a different purple to that one, but it's still the Marvel 8 ply from Spotlight. Um, I'm not buying more yarn. Purple is number 6 my lucky number if it comes out again i'll have to go to my emergency uh, color which is orange but it's getting quite big i think we're at i won't make it to um week 20 it'll be too big for me so somewhere along the line i will stop and say that's big enough because it's a lap blanket for charity and i have to be 80 by 80 or 100 by 100 and i think we're getting close to 100 by 100 but I really like this. This is a Sober Granny by Krista at the Secret Yarnery. And yeah, I'm enjoying that immensely. I can't wait for her luck of the draw each week. And um, Nancy's luck of the draw, it's always a bit of fun. And a quick video before I head off to work normally. So that is my cow number two. So I joined Amagurumi Wars cow. Not like I haven't gone enough on the go and I actually was looking at another cow yesterday and thought do I or don't I anyway Amagurumi Wars is being hosted this month by um, Lynette at Charm Grammy Crochet hi Lynette and um, she did her pattern drawers and one of the paid patterns is by YOH yarn over hook she does have a YouTube channel and um, I'll put all the links to the channels in the description below I suggest you check out her patterns I was lucky enough to win three of them from Lynette, a charm Grammy, and I made, um, he's not out today, uh, my frog, <laughs> Jumping Jay. And um, I decided, because one of the patterns she pulled out as the paid for pattern was um, one of YOH's patterns, Yarn Over Hook, Anita, I think it's Anita, I think so. And um, I went in and I bought the Yeti because when I checked out the three patterns that I got she had a fourth one the Yeti Miko the Yeti or Miko's Yeti maybe in the first one she did so for Aram McGroomy Wars my first project is finished and here is Miko the Yeti I am really proud of him I um, haven't been doing Amagurumi long and even Reeves, my son, said he turned out pretty good. Now, I didn't use the white. I decided I'm going to do amigurumis with the yarn in my yarn um, stock, all the scrap yarn. So this is this one is a Red Heart Ombre. It's a funny one. I got like a 140 gram ball in a mystery box a year or two back. I wasn't happy with a mystery box. And... This has always felt a bit harsh for anything, but it's great for Hamagurumi. So I've made the Yeti out of it. The darker green is a spotlight yarn. And yes, 
I just love him. So the fluffy bits, I didn't have any fluffy yarn and I ducked out to spotlight because they've got a clearance table and I found this, which is quite sheddy. It's mohair. I think that's what it is. Um, it's Abbey Road the Spotlight Yarn. Truly Madly Mohair Blend. And yeah, it was on the $2 table, so I thought that's perfect. There wasn't white or cream grey. This light grey was the only really light colour, but I thought for my Yeti, he looks great. And I haven't named him yet. Um, feel free to tell me what you think I should call him. But I think he turned out really good. Look, I love her patterns. I made the frog and this one. They're so easy to follow and they take in my amigurumi to that next level and they're not um, hard to put together there's not lots of little bits um, which is often what puts me off so yeah I think he's pretty good I started out amigurumi because part of the um, amigurumi wars there was another paid pattern and Lynn put out a notice the link wasn't working and that we could um, use another paid pattern of our choice as long as it was paid for and I started at Amigurumi by making this paid pattern, the little octos, and um, I decided I'd do Octo 2. This is my second Amigurumi Wars for April. And this is Iggy Octo. She's a punk rocker with a flower in her hair. That's why she's a bit sour looking. I'm never very good at the faces. This is a paid for pattern by the Dabbling Hook Laurel. It is so easy to follow. And when I was learning Amigurumi, it was great. I have made several of these. And I have actually sold a couple of them on my stall. I always give them some sort of feature. I did Octo Punk. I've done a few. But yeah, I decided this is Iggy. Because we're doing punk rock for Rock 22 AU, this is Iggy, the female punk rocker with a flower in her hair. So there's my um, projects. Yeah, that's the little leftover yarn. I probably used about half of it, that red heart. It's a funny, it's not like the ombre I got before. It's not as soft, but yeah. And her hair, I actually got off the $2 table too. This is Faux Mo by Mo de Vera, 78% poly, poly, polyester, 22% acrylic. It's a bit hairy. It was a bit thinner than I would have liked, but it did the job. It sort of made her hair look a bit spiky. So, yeah, that's what I used there. And the blue is just the Spotlight USA Everyday Yarn, like Red Heart Super Save. It's very similar. So... They are my finished objects for this week. I have actually been working on other things, but um, nowhere near ready to show you guys. I did, however, go online, do a bit of purchasing. That's Miko the pattern. That's what the pattern looks like. So mine does look a little different where the colours are concerned, but such a great pattern. I'll put a link to that. Um, yeah, I went online and did a bit of shopping with um, the convent um, chapel in um, New South Wales. They send a postcard for Mudgy for you to send out. Yeah, I bought some more higher, higher knitting needles for a project I'm planning to do. I really do like these needles for the finer wool, like the four ply. Um, the... Taigu are great, except for the really fine, I like these sharp points. And yes, hopefully soon I'll tell you what I've been working on. And because, you know, postage is a little exy, oh, I got awesome. I got some coloured, you know, these like, like little, as thing calls them, safety pin stitch markers. I wanted more. I had, um, I've got a little set of all like bronzy, brassy ones, but I wanted some colour ones for this project I'm working on to teach me which is back and which is front because I get lost. The yarn I bought, I didn't even know they were in my parcel though. So they always send you a little bonus gift. Isn't that nice? I bought Merino Fleck 
by Heirloom 8 ply yarn, that one. Um, there is a project I was looking at that asked for a flecky yarn and I didn't have any. This was on special, I think it was like $6 a wool ball. It's 100% pure wool made in Australia by Heirloom. It is lovely and soft, so I bought four of those in that colour. Um, that also makes the postage worthwhile and I am buying more pure wool lately than acrylic. Because I seem to have gone into projects that really require pure wool. So guys, that's it for me this week. We're having a pretty quiet, wet Easter. We've had a bit of a joke thing, Reeves and I. Um, Reeves introduced me to a YouTube channel called Red Letter Media. And these guys are really funny. And they do the best of the worst. They do reviews of movies and different things. But they do the best of the worst, where they put like 9 or 12 videos on a wheel and someone picks, and they pick three, and they watch them, and they pick the best of the worst, because they're generally not very good videos. And um, we decided, because it was so wet, we would do that. So Reeves laid nine videos, because he's got quite an extensive Blu-ray collection. He laid nine face down on the counter. He covered them with paper. And I had to pick three. So I picked one, six, and nine. And um, we'd been watching those. So one was um, Star Trek the movie. Two is Shoot 'em Up. And three is Le Mans with Steve McQueen. Well, one wasn't bad. The other two, I don't know. I'll let you know how we go. But it's a lot of fun. If you have an extensive Blu-ray collection and you're stuck at home and can't get out, do this do something fun with them, put some of the ones out that you haven't watched. And yeah, at the end of the, we'll vote on the best of the worst, each of us, and see which one is actually the worst of them all. The things we do to entertain ourselves in the tropics when it won't stop raining. Always rains at Easter. We had a bit of sunshine this morning, which was fine and nice. But yeah, we always say, always rains at Easter. Anyway, guys, until next time, I hope you've enjoyed my um, catch-up on my cows. I haven't named Yeti, so if you want to give him a name for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And yes, ha have fun joining us with Amigurumi Wars, because I am really enjoying it, especially if the patterns are relatively easy. <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and remember, you could have a crafty day making a Yeti with me. Bye for now.